All right, next we have Miguel De Los Santos, highlights on aquaculture research and extension projects in the Republic of Palau. Good. Um, good afternoon to everyone. Um, my name is Miguel De Los Santos, and I am the aquaculture researcher uh, at Palau Community College. And uh, we are under the uh, College of Micronesia Land Grant Program uh, of the USDA um, NIFA. And uh, um, uh, this afternoon, I'm going to present to you our highlights on the aquaculture research and extension projects in the Republic of Palau. Um, um, just want to let you know that uh, my presentation involves uh, what we do uh, in terms of research because my uh, FTE is 50% uh, 50, 50 the research and 50% uh, extension. Okay, uh, for us to uh, be familiar of our location, uh, we are situated um, uh, along the Pacific, uh, in the Pacific area and the uh, Pacific Ocean, and uh, we are uh, uh, close to the Philippines and uh, Asia. And uh, uh, Palau is, uh, consists of uh, 586 islands, and uh, we're very, uh, the, uh, local, the land area is very small, about uh, 4,000 square meters, uh, kilometers, and uh, um, as you know, uh, Palau is, uh, I, uh, has uh, established a compact uh, uh, of free association uh, agreement with the U.S. That's why we're uh, under the uh, U.S. land grant program. Um, uh, our role at the uh, PCC uh, being uh, we having a mission of an, being an accessible public educational institution helping to meet the technical, academic, uh, cultural, and uh, economic, social and economic needs of students and the communities by promoting learning opportunities and developing personal excellence. Um, uh, we have this uh, cooperative research exten uh, and extension uh, program, and uh, the, our mission is to collabor collaborate with the partners and clients to generate, uh, develop, and disseminate practical, relevant, and sustainable technologies and knowledge in agriculture, environment, food, and human science to benefit the people of Palau. So included uh, in this mission is our uh, uh, effort to develop aquaculture in these uh, remote islands in the Pacific. So uh, in our island, we have identified the uh, major species of commercial interest for aquaculture, and this includes the uh, rabbit fish, mangrove crab. Uh, rabbit fish, there are two uh, major species of rabbit fish that we are uh, very much interested in, and we have the mangrove crab, and the uh, milkfish and the grouper, uh, the epiphyllous species, and also the coral grouper, and uh, also recently the tiger shrimp. Um, just to show you our uh, facilities, we have in Palau three, ma three uh, major uh, f uh, fish hatcheries, and uh, us at PCC, we have uh, the multi species hatchery wherein we uh, conduct uh, various projects uh, on different species that I have mentioned earlier. And uh, we also have uh, small uh, scale farms that w we are, you know, uh, helping uh, as part of our extension uh, effort. So uh, for our research projects, I mentioned the uh, rabbit fish. So we did the uh, broodstock development and seed production uh, of the rabbit fish, Ciganos fusicens, that we started uh, since 2015. And then uh, we uh, terminate it in 2011, although uh, currently we're still uh, uh, um, conducting um, or supporting the uh, interested farmers who have already been gained interest on this uh, uh, species. And uh, the reason why we uh, we 
considered rabbit fish as one of our major species of interest is because uh, this fish is a favorite food fish in Palau and uh, not only in Palau but also in other Pacific uh, islands and uh, these species uh, are known to be uh, disease uh, and stress resistant and uh, they can feed naturally on the um, uh, f uh, natural food like uh, filamentous green algae and uh, also they uh, uh, could be able to feed on commercial feed as well. And uh, they're grown, uh, they could be grown both in ponds and in uh, cages. And we have already established the hatchery technique for this species. And uh, although we have some disadvantage, uh, there's some disadvantage of growing this fish because uh, they are relatively having slower uh, growth rate and uh, uh, they don't really have a very high commercial value uh, for export, uh, although it's very uh, well taken in, uh, in the islands. And uh, uh, yeah, the, the growth performance in the grow out phase is also, uh, also need to be uh, established yet. So uh, we have the other species of the rabbit fish uh, that we have been uh, propagating. And uh, this is the Ciganus lineatus. Uh, the, the previous species is m purely marine species and the other one is uh, bra brackish water species. So uh, people have the alternative uh, when, if ever they, ha they want to grow uh, rabbit fish in the purely marine environment, then they, they have to select this uh, 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 Ciganus fusicens, but if they have the w water, uh, the, the the environment that uh, is a brackish water uh, in nature, then they they we recommend them uh, to grow this uh, uh, Ciganus lineatus uh, rabbit fish. So um, uh, next is the milkfish. Uh, we know that uh, milkfish has been commonly um, uh, farmed in many other Asian countries and uh, however in, in Palau um, this species is not uh, has not become uh, popular uh, until 2016 and uh, 2005 so uh, this we, we were able to come up with this uh, uh, with this uh, project so we have this coral grouper uh, project as well because uh, we have a, uh, we know that this species has a very high commercial value in the Asian market uh, that cost around like fifty dollars per pound, and there are some uh, f uh, farmers that are uh, very much interested to grow this commercially, and so we're trying to develop the seed production because currently only about one percent uh, survival rate is uh, the best record. So uh, we, we're trying to find out if the uh, copy pods would be able to, use, using the copy pod neoplia would be able, to, as their initial food, would be able to help improve the survival rate in the hatchery. And we have this uh, mangrove crab, which is the um, major uh, seafood commodity in Palau. And it's becoming uh, very scarce now. Uh, th there's uh, too much uh, of uh, harvesting in the wild. And so we need to augment this by uh, uh, developing an aquaculture uh, for this species. So we had, we, we, through the help of the CTSA, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, these uh, s projects on these species, we were able to uh, implement uh, in, in our islands and we have, were able to come up with uh, good progress, uh, particularly on the development or, or production of the seed stock that would help uh, encourage uh, the people to develop aquaculture for this species. So for our uh, extension activities, we do some technical assistance and support in the development of the hatchery and farming techniques for the rabbit fish, milk fish, and mangrove crabs. And to, I, I have mentioned to you that we have three, uh, we have two more um, um, hatcheries that exist in Palau and uh, uh, aside from us and, and, and we, we are able to share our experience with them and then they were, and they were able to pick up 
uh, particularly on the seed production of the rabbit fish, which is now a public program. Uh, the, the, govern the government is trying to promote throughout the islands as a source of uh, livelihood for the people. And uh, uh, also, uh, the, the, uh, the, the government uh, also uh, is very much concerned about the, the status of our mangrove crab fishery uh, in, in, the, in the country. So uh, we work together with the government uh, by uh, uh, continuously producing crablets that, uh, aside from utilizing the crablets for the grow out purposes, we also, uh, we also uh, uh, help them by uh, uh, releasing our extra uh, produced, hatchery produced uh, mangrove crab crablets, releasing them to the, to the wild in the mangroves for uh, stock enhancement. And aside from that, we also uh, assist the government in, in establishing what's so-called the crab bank, wherein we have to release uh, the newly hatched uh, mangrove crab into the wild, and currently we are able to release about uh, over 100 million of these newly hatched larvae throughout the island. And uh, currently, uh, there's a, a new interest of uh, 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 commercially produ uh, producing the a tiger shrimp in, in the island, and there, we are working closely with the private company over there. And uh, we help them by uh, 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 letting them utilize our uh, hatchery for the production of the uh, locally, uh, the local uh, species of uh, uh, of the t tiger prawn, Pineus monodon, and we have found out that the, they have a really very excellent growth rate compared to what uh, even me, I, ha I was really surprised uh, with this uh, growth performance of this locally uh, sourced uh, uh, tiger shrimp. And uh, with, uh, even though we know that there's a, a big outbreak of uh, diseases currently uh, affecting the tiger shrimp in Australia right now, but uh, hopefully ours uh, would still be not uh, free from, from this kind of diseases. So we're, we're trying to uh, look for possibility of uh, doing some kind of uh, disease screening for these species. So other species of interest uh, in the island, we have the mangrove clam, we have the sea cucumber, we have the mullet, oysters, mangrove reeds, red snappers, and the spiny lobsters, and uh, this would be uh, uh, some uh, more of, of our uh, future uh, uh, opportunities for research and uh, extension in the islands. So uh, our, our research output are also being uh, disseminated uh, when, whenever we uh, attend uh, conferences, and thank you.